Today, we're gonna talk about the truth and the new paradigm of manifestation. In order to do so, we need to clear a few things up first. So let's start there. First, there is no need to actually learn how to manifest because as a human, you're a master manifester already. Your entire life is a manifestation of thought into form. So there's really no need to put any effort into learning how to manifest because the action items that need to be taken in order to manifest and live the life of your dreams are probably not what you think. We'll get to those in a little bit. Just remember this, not a moment goes by that you're not manifesting, which leads into the second point. So the second thing we need to clear up is that you are always manifesting. There's not a moment that goes by where you're not manifesting or creating. Every person, place, or thing in your life is a manifestation of your thoughts and your beliefs because your beliefs create your reality. So if you're ever not sure about what your hidden beliefs are that are buried down deep in your subconscious, just take a look around at your life and you'll see all of your beliefs manifested in physical form. Pretty cool, huh? All right, and the third and final thing that we need to clarify before we move on to the new paradigm of manifesting is that manifesting does not require intensity. Let me explain. Right now, there is a collective energy that is like a push as far as manifesting is concerned. It's very patriarchal. It's very forward moving and manifesting is not like that at all. It's actually not intense and it's more of an act of allowing. So think about it. Isn't it amazing how much you've already manifested in your life that you haven't even had to think about? And to help you understand this, I'm going to use an extremely common daily manifestation that everybody probably manifests over and over and over again. We know that manifestation is thought into form. So let's take on any given day, you feel thirsty. So you have a feeling and you have a thought. The thought is, I'm thirsty. Then there's another thought behind that, which is, I would like to have a drink of water. When the desire is strong enough, you will move your body to go get that glass of water manifested from your thought into physical form. The action of moving your body was inspired by the heart's desire, your thought, your desire, and it was easy because manifesting is an act of allowing. It's allowing your beliefs to attract everything that's meant for you into your life. Now that we've covered the basics, we can talk about the new paradigm of manifesting, which actually isn't new. It's actually always been this way because it is a law of the universe. Okay, so I already mentioned it a little bit, but it goes like this. Your heart's desires are your guidance system and your desires are meant to be fulfilled. So what does that mean? It means if you want something that is the universe or God or or your higher self, whatever you believe, nudging you to go create that thing. The other thing to be super mindful and clear about is that your heart, your heart is the strongest energy center in your body and it emits the strongest frequency for manifesting. Problem is that most of the time, we're so wounded that our wounds are creating our beliefs, are creating desires in a barrier, an energetic barrier, it's clouding your heart from leading the way. So in order for your heart to lead the way, it's really easy because now we're down to the actions that it takes to manifest and live the life of your dreams. So first and foremost, in order to connect to your heart's desire, you need to acknowledge your heart's desires. And then you need to clear away everything that's in the way of your heart leading the way. Okay, so number one, the first action is to take an inventory on your beliefs so that you can find your limiting beliefs. Let them go. Heal any trauma that created the belief so that you are a clear channel to your heart. After you find those limiting beliefs, 
and you clear them away, you've got to create new ones. Once you let go of something, you've got to put something in its place. So this requires work. It requires work because you have to actually choose. Letting go of an old belief is a decision, so it's an action. And once you let it go, you're gonna have opportunities to see the old beliefs trying to stay in their place, so you have to consciously refuse those and consciously choose the new beliefs to guide you through your life. And this is the part where most people get confused because they interpret this as all I have to do is heal and I don't have to take any actions towards the life of my dreams, which is completely 100% not true and wrong. Sometimes things can come to you without any action taken, but most of the time, 99.99999% of the time, manifestation is a combination of your clear, pure heart's desire plus inspired action. Inspired action is the key word because when it's inspired, it's fun, it's easy, it's nurturing your soul. Remember the example of manifesting a glass of water. It wasn't hard to move your legs. You weren't thinking about every single step you took along the way to get that water. The action was inspired, so it was easy. And that is how easy it is for you to manifest whatever it is you're wanting, your heart's desires. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that your mind was opened even just a tiny bit by watching this video. And if you did like this, please like and subscribe and let me know so I can deliver more as I'm happy to do it.